Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna find out what is happening for you during this full moon. Um, it's quite a doozy. I, it's not even here yet. It's coming tomorrow, the 22nd, I believe. And it is, whew, it's a killer. And it's a killer. But you already know, you already know full moons are from the devil. So here's the thing. Uh, last night, I don't know about you, but I had this very weird feeling. It was like I was being watched, I was being stalked. It was like, not paranoia like this was in my own apartment like this wasn't with anybody else it was like me by myself in my apartment it looked like i was being watched by by like a ghost or something i don't know it was not a person i know that much and it felt also too like there were a lot of creepy crawlies and it was just strange and and i almost posted on my other channel and i wanted to ask if anybody else had been experiencing something where it just feels like everything's very spooky. I don't know why, but it just felt very spooky and I felt like I should mention it. But anyway, we have three piles today, pile one, pile two, and pile three. We're going to find out what's changing with you, uh, what you need to know next, and things like that, your steps uh, going forward, what you're really ending, ending, completely ending with this full moon. So let's get to it, guys. I really thank you for being here. I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile one. So it is the rare august blue moon but is a full sturgeon moon okay on the 22nd so as of tomorrow full moon in aquarius now this has been a very tough full moon i don't know about you but i'm, I'm purging a lot and i feel like you guys are probably doing the same um let's find out what it is you're actually ending okay so we have well a few cards i've not looked at any of them yet let's just see let's see what we've got here Star Ancestors, Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom, Look a Little Deeper. Deep Cellular Healing, huh. Arcturus Energy, Physical and Emotional Healing. Yeah, you're definitely feeling it, aren't you? You're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness, face your true north. This makes sense because it's a full moon in Aquarius. So Aquarius, if you are Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or it could be also your Venus, but check your north node because if you're Aquarius north node, Oh God, I feel for you because it is so difficult to be an Aquarius at all. I'm an Aquarius rising and I, I, I feel like you guys are really expressing your vulnerabilities. You're expressing that you believe in things that cannot be seen. You might have come into a lot of power about your healing gifts. Um, it feels like this deep cellular healing with star ancestors is something that's been in your lineage for a long time, but it was probably repressed. Um, you might be like the first in your in your family to do something where you're like working with magic or working with the arts or herbs or tinctures, oils, stuff like that. You are going through an emotional purge right now. And it feels like this is something that has been your lineage. Like this is family ancestral stuff that has not been dealt with in lifetimes. Okay. And I really actually, I heard, um, it can be up to seven generations that we're storing trauma in our DNA. Um, so you're, you're holding trauma from like, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So you here, as um, I'm feeling a star seed with the star ancestors here, you're actually here to break some change, to liberate yourself and liberate your family as well. And I feel like that's why you guys have had a really overwhelming time this full moon. It's been really impactful. Like, I feel you've been crying a lot. You've been really stressed out. You've probably been eating more than normal. Um, you've needed to sleep more than normal. It's okay. You're, you're healing some really deep trauma that has been stored in your body, in your DNA, karmically in this generation, in your generation. Um, um, oh, hold on. Mm. And this looks like Saturn. I don't know why. I've never seen it like this before. It's, that looks like Saturn's rings. Um, wow, you're breaking past a lot of karma. You're paying off a lot of karmic debt uh, from your family. Your family lineage right now, Saturn has not been kind to you. Um, I'm hearing repay your debts, repay your debts. You don't have the karma. It's not you. As a star seed, you don't have, you don't carry that karma. It's your family. It's the lineage. It's the generationals, the generations before you. And so I'm really getting the Saturn has not been kind to you at all. You could be going through your Saturn um, return, which is, I think it's every 29 years, if I'm not mistaken, but your Saturn return um, is hell on earth, honey. I'll tell you that much. You could be going through that or you're just getting out of it. 
Embrace your weirdness. Let's see what else we have for you. Ooh, oh my God. Okay, we got the heart chakra, the sacral chakra, and the devil, which represents Saturn for me. Satan, Saturn, same thing. It's an archetype. <sighs> what am I getting here? There have been a lot of blockages in your sacral chakra, okay? It's like you have fallen in love um, with the process of healing now, which is really great. It can be addicting, can it? It's very much addicting. You have been battling some addictions, some trauma, um, and it feels like your sacral chakra, this is where your reproductive system is. This is what's healing here with deep cellular healing. Um, I feel like you are starting to learn what you actually want, what you yearn for, what your soul desires. Um, and the sacral chakra is a place of the inner child. So it really feels like you've been connecting with your inner child. Um, giving yourself more time to like, be away from other people. Um, nurture yourself. Be a little bit more gentle, more kind. Even when other people are not that way to you, you've been giving yourself permission. But with the devil right under the you're not for everyone, embrace your weirdness. I feel like right now you have been told in your past that if you're a quirky, it's like it's weird. Like stop. Just stop. Like shh. Don't, don't talk. Don't talk. You have been told. This is the part. Oh my God. This is the karmic pattern you're breaking. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, I'm getting the third eye chakra is active as well, which is the sixth chakra. So we got four plus two for the sixth chakra. Your, your third eye is open and you're starting to understand that you are connected to like a, a galactic family. And I think a lot of people around you might not trust your new change. They don't trust what's going on with you, this dimensional shift you're having. And I'm really getting that there have been people in your past who have looked at you like you're very weird for this. You're very weird and like, don't talk to me. Like, don't talk like that. We don't talk like that in our family, like that kind of stuff. This full moon is liberating for you the fear of going within and crying and purging and being soft and gentle with yourself. The, the inner child that needed protection, you're no longer afraid to defend him or her. This is why we have hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper, right under the heart, or right above the heart chakra. You have gone within and found something. Maybe over the last few days, maybe in the next few days, you found something really peculiar about yourself. Very strange, at least to other, but everybody else. It's a little strange. It's a little, maybe you just found out that you can heal faster than others. You just found out you can, there's like a, like a trauma, a trauma that you're releasing, but it's like the, the speediness of your recovery or something. There's something very much angelic about this. And I feel like that's what is overwhelmingly being processed for you. And it might involve a lot of crying and sleeping right now. And that's totally okay. Um, in fact, I'm hearing you should definitely do that. Okay, drink more water, get more rest. In fact, I want to drink some water. You might be a little dehydrated. Um, what I'm actually getting is what you are banishing for good during this full moon is your, like, fear of telling your family that this is who you are or telling those around you like this is who I am the full moon in Aquarius it makes a lot of sense you're just you're, you're peculiar something about you is a little different and it feels like you have a star family a galactic family that you might even be getting messages from maybe you're getting um spirit guide messages okay downloads during sleep meditation things like that and it's like you you're no longer feeling the need to ever um ever like apologize for this ever again. This is really ending for you. Also, I'm hearing you becoming your own mom and dad. You're becoming your own family. You're becoming your own family and this is what's healing for you. You're nurturing your inner child and you're finding, you're finally discovering and finding what actually makes you happy. What makes you happy as a child, as a spark of light, as a beautiful creation of God. Like what makes you truly happy? That's what's changing right now. Wow, we have the strength card. Ace of Swords. Oh my God, the Four of Swords. I promise I didn't see these guys. I'm really getting you need more sleep. Give yourself that time. If you feel, if you're the type that feels guilty when you take a break or you rest, honey, you need to, you need to understand that 
that is, that's the hardest thing for me too, but that is not a problem. It's like, it's going to actually help you feel refreshed when you go back out there again. It's not forever. It's only temporary. Okay. With the strength and ace of swords, you're starting to see just how strong you are at fighting off demons, not only just yours, but everybody else's too. Um, and I think you've just recently discovered that there was something buried deep, 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 deep into maybe even like, okay, I'm getting that this could be, I am so sorry about that. This could actually be um, gynecological too, I'm getting with the sacral chakra. It looks like she's in pain, like in cramps. You might be having deep cellular healing going on with your menstrual cycle as well that's coming through. But I'm getting like right here with strength and ace of swords, like you're starting to recognize that people were afraid of your strength. They were definitely afraid of the fact that you can channel other beings. I feel you're very much a channel. You're very, very intuitive. You're open. You're an open vessel. You're very, you're very open. You're starting to recognize that it was other people that were the problem, not you. Um, and I think all this time in your whole life, you might've blamed yourself. Like, I wish I were just different. And I wish I wasn't, I wish I wasn't so quirky. And I, I wish I didn't say the things I say and stuff, but honey, you're starting to recognize like that is your superpower. And there are just people around who couldn't handle that. Hmm. Let's see. What else is changing for pile one? I'm hearing rose quartz. Heart healing. Heart healing. So much heart healing. Um, it's forgiveness about your past. About your ancestors. Ancestral karma being ended with you. I feel like you were different your entire life, but there was a deep like yearning a deep yearning to be loved and cherished by your family, but they couldn't understand you. You were way different. And I think you got maybe bullied or picked on and you're just like discovering right now. It's not your fault. There was nothing wrong with you. There's never been anything wrong with you. Um, you're holding yourself so close now. It's beautiful. I feel like you're, you're hugging yourself or you're, you're just like pampering yourself. You're talking kindly to yourself. This is, this is beautiful. Pile one, you are beautiful and stunning. I hope this reading helped you and uh, good luck to you on your journey, honey. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hello, pile two. Welcome to your reading, guys. Let's find out a little bit about what's going on with you, okay? So um, we have, I think, nine cards. I haven't looked at any of them yet. They're just randomly drawn and shuffled. So let's see what we've got going on for you. What big changes are you going through right now? Spirit, to me in the pile two, please. Pile two. I'm seeing, I'm seeing clouds, like gray clouds. Hmm. I'm hearing medicinal. You're using like the powers of earth to heal you, but it feels like there's storm clouds around you. There is something quite treacherous around pile two. You've been praying a lot. You've been talking to God a lot. You've been praying to the universe. You've been asking for help. I feel like help is coming. Help is coming for you because I'm hearing you're being chased by something. It could be in a dream you're being chased. You're being chased. Something's following you. Not to scare anybody. I feel like you already know. I feel like if if this isn't your reading, choose a different pile. But yeah, I'm getting you're like running away from something because something is chasing you. Um, so you might be ending something that's been a problem for some time for you. Like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what this is here. Okay. The great. Oh my God. That's what I saw. Oh my God. You guys, I swear to you, I didn't see these cards. I'm getting storm clouds, like gray clouds. The great severing Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Hmm. Star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission activation. Huh. Lifting the veil. Question everything. Anything aligned must go. Yeah. 
you have really been feeling that there is something, there's like a gray cloud around someone you're around or, or the type of people you consistently bring into your life. I don't know that this is something you're putting up with anymore. Um, I feel like you're letting this go because you don't trust it anymore. You're like, every time I'm around this person, it just feels like they zap my energy. Because so I'm noticing how bright this card is. It's so gorgeous. And then you've got this destructive gray, grayish cloud over here. Wow, this full moon's really pulling you away from someone. I think it's actually highlighting that you've already been pulled away from them from some time for some time. I think what you're also seeing is this person's hella angry all the time. They could be Scorpio or Aries, just because I'm getting the um, Mars energy here. They're they're angry. They're angry at life. They're angry. They think life like dealt them a bad hand, and they refuse to get over it. Um, you're starting to see that, like, I think you've picked up on this person's energy. I think you have legit, you guys, been picking up on this person's energy for some time. And it's like right now, you just went through the portal, through the Lion's Gate portal. That's why you feel so much lighter right now. Light body, crystal grid, transmission, activations. You got activated during the Lion's Gate, which was, what, like a week ago? Two weeks ago? You got activated and now all of a sudden your body is lighter. You need less food. You drink more water. You're getting more sun. It's like you're listening to higher vibrational music. Things just happened. I feel like in the last two months, like, or two, I didn't mean to say months, but maybe the last two weeks, um, you just got like a lot higher vibrational and you've never been this close to letting someone go. This person is like a nuclear blast. I'm Look at this, there's a blast right there, a nuclear bomb. Wow. It really does look like it. It's actually a tree, but it looks like it to me. Like the first thing I saw was like a nuclear bomb. So I feel like this person goes off all the time. There was like maybe a lot of trauma bonding that happened between you and them. And you're ending this, but it's, it's already been ended. It's just like you're finally detaching because you realize you don't really want to be around them anymore. Um, and this is the first time for you, I feel. I don't think you've really felt like this strong about it before. So just a second, please. Okay, sorry about that. I had to relight some incense. Um, I just don't think you've, you've ever been this ready to go, like this ready to leave this person. Um, also too, what you're discovering is that they've been like this the whole time. I think you maybe tried to find excuses for them, but uh, they've been like this the entire time. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. It seems you're just unevenly yoked, unevenly matched with this person, and I don't know if you knew that until now, but yeah, you really are, and you're getting that revelation. Let's see what's happening. Give me some more cards here. Yep, two of cups. This is really heartbreaking because you love this person so much. There it is, the emperor, the Aries energy. I'm really getting their dad or a boss, maybe a masculine energy uh, in some way. It could be a lover even. This is a masculine type. This is a, this is a type of energy that you brought into your life. Transformation. What did I say about you going through that portal? You just got so much lighter, okay? Um, you're seeing that this person's kind of stuck in the dark ages when you're not. Um, I'm getting some more messages from Spirit about the authority card. This is a type of person. This could have been your dad. Okay, so say maybe when you were a kid. Wow, we have one, two, three, four. How did I not notice that? All right. Um, again, it's like progressing. You're, you're, you're growing a lot. Okay, so this could have been your dad or maybe a grandfather, an uncle, some a masculine figure in your life and childhood. And it's like you found partners that mimicked the same energy here. Maybe there's like a control issue. You had to like abide by the rules of this person. It's like you found partners or you found friends that very closely matched that person. Um, so what I'm getting is right under here, the light body, the heavy body. He's even a little bit overweight. There's something here about this person, this energy being a lot heavier vibrationally than you. They're a lot more dense. They might eat like a lot of meat maybe and you don't or something like that. But there's just something about like they're too heavy. They're too heavy to go with you. All of a sudden, I'm like really hot. I'm really warm and I'm like sweating. <laughs> this person could sweat a lot. I don't know. I'm getting they make you nervous as well. So I feel you're healing a lot of dad wounds. I'm, I'm getting that, okay? 
masculine wounds. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm also hearing like, this is why you chose the partners you've chosen in the past. They had to be like overly dominant or something. Let's get some more with tarot to see what this is. Yeah, queen of cups. See, this is what I'm getting. Vibrationally speaking, you were just like way out of that emperor's league. I'm sorry. The queen of cups with the emperor, honey, that is a match made in hell. All right, let's see. We got the moon. We got the five of pentacles. Yeah, during this moon, this full moon, I'm really getting that you are leaving them behind. You are starting to see that you are like completely two different people. Absolutely. Um, there's just too much conflict around this person and you're too sweet and soft and gentle and you're just subtle. You're a very subtle energy. You're too sensitive for this person anymore. This is, this is brutality. This is a brute. That's what I'm getting. Just Mars energy. Like, listen to me. Like, I know what I'm talking about. You can't do that. And you can't, you're like, uh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to be under your dictatorship anymore. So there's something here about this person being like very controlling, very manipulative, but you love them and you know that they love you. And that's never been a question. That's never really been the question, has it? There is love and I'm sure it hurts them just as much that you guys are breaking apart and going your separate ways. But it feels like to me, this is something that's been a long time coming and it feels like you're ready to let go. Like, I think this full moon is bringing out that you are so ready, honey. You are so ready. You're sending them off because you know that they will be doing better. There will be less resistance. There'll be less triggers. There'll be less fighting. And you know that their vibration will raise in doing so. They will rise. They will. They will. They have to go through their karma, though, sadly. I mean, that's how you learned. That's how you got out of your dark night of the soul. So it's the same with them. I mean, they have to pay off karma, too. I mean, this is kind of how it has to happen. Um, but it feels like you know that detaching from them is the only way to give them a safe a safe space. You could be having this person come to you in dreams as well, begging for your help, because I'm getting this, um, this is what was chasing you. It's a shadow energy of this person. It's residual energy. It's still, there's still some connection, some cord, some energetic cord between you and them. And again, look at this woman following her. It's almost like a chasing energy. Yeah, I swear. I didn't see these cards. It's like, there's a lot of chasing going on here. Hmm. You could be mixed race. I'm just getting from them too. Cause yeah, there's like, yeah, I think you, if this is your reading and, and you, they're black and you're white, you know, that's also something that I feel has been maybe kind of being tested is the fabric of like, what do you believe? What, what are your true beliefs about love? Does love have a color? And of course it doesn't. And so it's like, that's coming up too. And maybe they can't see it quite like that. Okay. That's just for one person, but I'm sure. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries is coming up so far. So it's like, you're just more gentle. You're more kind. And you're just finding that this person is no longer matched with you. They're not evenly matched anymore. So I really feel at this time, what you're going through with this full moon is recognizing that in order to save them, you have to save yourself. It's a very hard lesson, and I'm so sorry, guys. I wish it could have been a lot happier of a message. I, I really feel you're going through it, and I'm, I'm so sorry, but you're doing it for love. And can I just say that the more we let people go, the more they get to know what true love is, because now they get to make a free will choice. Whereas before, if we were holding on, we're forcing them to change, expecting them to, hoping they would. But you know what? You know what leads to the biggest disappointment is expectation. And there was just this expectation that they would change and they're showing you that they're not. So sometimes you need to let go in order for them to look at your change from within. All right, guys, I love you so much. And I hope this reading helped you. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading with me or somebody to talk to about this, please um, look in the information in the description below. Okay. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. 
Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out a little bit about what's going on with you during this full moon. Okay, what changes are coming in for you? I've not looked at any of these cards yet. They're all randomly drawn and shuffled, so let's take a peek, okay? Called. Ooh, soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Oh, damn. Wow, I'm noticing the doors here, guys. The blue flame. Are you starting to hear things? I mean, not, I know, not in my apartment. I mean, are you starting to hear like spirit or something? Because I'm almost seeing this as like ancestors. I feel like somebody has a grandmother that they're sensing. Whoa. Whoa. You've just opened a portal. Oh my God, pile two, you just did something. I don't know what you did, but I know you know something happened. What's this other one? Your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability, accountability. Like you just opened something. What is going on? I feel like you can feel a feminine energy around you. I feel you're very much a psychic. You already knew that, but you're increasing your gifts. Your psychic gifts are coming in. Did you, okay, I, in the intro, I said that yesterday, last night, I felt like this really weird presence in my apartment. I've never felt it before. It was almost like somebody was stalking me and I've never felt that with spirit before. Well, I mean, I guess I have a couple times, but not recently. And this is what I feel you, you unlocked. You did something recently. You opened a door, honey. You opened a portal. I don't know if you astral projected. I don't know if you did a seance, if you used a Ouija board. I don't know what you did. It's not even a bad thing. I'm hearing congratulations. I, I hear congratulations are in order because this is like one of the coolest things you could have done. Um, because I feel you're already psychic. You already have the knowing. You already have the gift. Soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Hmm. I feel this full moon is making you more accountable uh, for your creativity. Maybe you've been lacking in your creative endeavors and it's like, nope, you can't do that shit anymore. You are like, go, go, go. It's like, it's time, honey. It is time. You are here to do something profound. You're here to like really help humanity with your gifts. Okay. There's no more hiding. There's no more keeping this a secret. I feel like spirit is bugging you. This is reminding me of um, the movie Ghost when Patrick Swayze's character starts singing to Whoopi Goldburn, he's like, I, uh, Henry VIII, I am, I am, because he wouldn't shut up. Because she wouldn't do what he wanted. This is kind of what I'm getting, is like spirit is bugging the shit out of you because you are not doing what they want. Hmm. Your ancestors want something of you. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Oh my, you guys. You, I'm done. I swear to everything I didn't see these cards. I swear to God. I swear. I told you open a portal. I told you. Oh my God. Foundation and achievements, four of wands. Again, it's family ancestor. There's like an ancestor. Got suffering in silence. What did I say? You're trying your best to run from this. I said, you can't keep quiet anymore. Girl, yes, I did. Damn. You can't keep quiet anymore. You need to talk about this stuff. You're going to find some people to resonate with because you can't hold this in anymore. So it's like really, it's go time. They're like requiring more of you. They're requiring a lot of your gifts. I'm hearing with great power comes great responsibility. And you have not been living up to your potential, but it is time, my love. It is time. I like how this has spontaneous awakening. I don't think you're expecting it. <laughs> I kind of want somebody to comment in the comments. Let me know if you've like seen a spirit lately, like an ancestor. I feel you are getting spirit contact from the deceased. I feel a grandmother. I do. I feel a grandma here. Hmm. There's somebody with her though. There's somebody, I don't know if these are two different people I'm talking to, you and maybe another uh, pile three group, but I, I'm, I'm getting there are two people here. You just opened a portal. You, you know what you did? You played with magic and now you have to pay the price. Do you know what the price of magic is? 
you have to heal people. You have to use magic to help the world. That's what you have to do. That's the cost. And every, all magic comes with a price. That's what you need to do. It's like, I think you were maybe dabbling in the arts, but like you didn't really know what you were doing. And now you've just opened a whole can of whoop ass. And honestly, guys, it's okay. There's nothing to be freaked out about. Like nothing at all. This is incredibly powerful stuff. And you've just, you've just broken through. You should feel so freaking proud of yourself, first of all. Now you have ancestral help. Now you have people on the other side, like helping you with your creative aspects. But it's like you've been holding on to the old life. You can't do that anymore. And I feel like pile three, I need to be really rigid with you because the other two piles, I kind of was a bit more lenient, but not with you. Not with you. You are a badass warrior. You are here to do something big and you need a kick in your rear, okay? You are here to do something incredibly powerful. You've already got, you already had the gifts, but like, I'll, I'll tell you from experience, you know how quick those gifts can be taken away by God. I'll tell you real quick when you don't use them, utilize it. Okay. You've got these gifts. You've got this ability to talk to like interdimensional beings or some shit. I don't know, man. Look at this galaxy here though. In the door, do you see that? The same kind of star system. You opened a portal, bro. Like <sighs> there's no more. You can't hide anymore. Oh, wow. We got the devil. Three of swords. Ace of pentacles. Yep. I like how this is in the, the, the past for me. This is the past position on the left with the ace of pentacles. I feel like, yeah, in the past, I'm going to be completely real with you. You, you, you played with fire and you got burned last time. Um, you could have even seen some things. I feel like maybe you saw like dark figures, dark entities, something like that. You're a very metaphysical, mystical group. Um, and it broke your heart because I don't think that you knew what you were doing. You didn't have a mentor. You didn't have guidance. You didn't, you didn't know half the shit you know now. So what I'm getting is that's why spirit is offering you a brand new opportunity. And it's the pentacles, which is the magic. Uh, pentacles represent magic. And it's a brand new offer for you to do something where you can express yourself fully. Be extremely accepted for who you are. And I think in the past, you were heartbroken by a lot of really low diabolical assholes. I will tell you that much. Because in the past, this devil represents people who were like calling you a whole bunch of names, right? You're too metaphysical. Like you're too weird. Like you're that girl that talks to the dead. Oh my gosh. You're, you're not talking to the dead. You're talking to demons. Ugh. If I can just get a nickel for every time I've heard that, honestly, I'd be freaking hella rich. I wouldn't live in a studio apartment. Okay. So the devil in the three of swords I'm getting is you being tormented by darker shadow elements in the past, but you just opened a portal that has allowed something different to come through. And this feels very much like, um, a good group of like beings to help you. Okay. Like you have accepted this gift. So now you need to accept what comes with it. You need to speak about it or you need to do just action. You need action in your life regarding this level of magic. Um, I'm not saying like you need to talk in front of a camera, like to the world, like I do. You don't need to talk about magic if you don't want to. I, I just, whatever you do, you need to do it for the love of it. The love of it. Because you've opened something, honey, and you can't close it. You can't close it. You can, you can sit on the gifts for a while and, and, and your, your guides, the universe will take it away. They won't give you the opportunity to help people. So that it'll feel like the gifts are taken away, but you want these gifts. I know you do. I know that in the past you definitely opened something before too. And maybe this is why suffering in silence is here. Maybe you were persecuted in the past. You might've even had past lives where you were persecuted. Yeah, I think that's why I was getting the vibe that you're being chased. Because there's something from your past life that won't let you go yet. This is how you do it. This is how you break free from it. There's so much lighter energy over here. It's like you need to allow this activation to take place with the blue flame. You need to let this burn out all the negative that you saw in the past, whether that be shadow figures or demons or whatever you saw, okay? And then people telling you a whole bunch of things about yourself. Like, you need to let that go because you've opened something where you have so much more command now. 
You have so much more advice and, and, and energy afforded to you. You know, you can get energy straight from the source now and not run out of energy, not be depleted as much as you were in the past. There's so much you know now that you didn't know then. So it's really time for you to step up and lead. It is very much time. You've known about it for a while. You've been sitting on it. The full moon is here, my friend, and it is a doozy because this one's a full moon in Aquarius and whew, it's a bitch. But it feels like this is very much the full moon for me and it is time. It is so time. You guys are going to be amazing at it. I will tell you. And it's going to be so fulfilling. It's going to feel good. You're not going to feel scared. Don't feel scared. You're not going to feel that way. Because this is like I'm getting your ancestors on the other side trying to help you do this. You're being called. You're being called by the universe to help. Right? You help others. Others help you. It's a yin and yang. It's a very equal give and take. This is how you're supposed to do it. In the past, you were giving to people who would convince you that what you were doing was taboo. Because they were terrified. They were scared of what you could do. But now you're coming into a whole new world where people aren't scared of what you can do. They think it's freaking epic. So this is your message. That's what's happening during the full moon. I love you guys. If you want a personal reading, all the information's in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, guys.